Good afternoon, friends. I'm here with another chapter of A Nest for Celeste. Today I'm reading chapter 19 called Aftermath, and this is with special permission from HarperCollins Publishers. The day dawned bright and clear. The sun was hot and brilliant, but the shade underneath the trees was cool. The storm during the night had washed away the dust of summertime, and now the sky was cobalt blue. Wet leaves were plastered against the trees and fences, houses and barns. Broken tree limbs littered lawns and countless holly hocks and sunflowers lay prostrate, blossoms stuck face down in the mud. Roads were pitted with gra gravelly ruts that had been washed out by the rag raging torrents of the night before. Birds began singing again as a salute to those among them that had survived the storm. Celeste blinked. She saw the sky, heard a cardinal and a mockingbird singing morning songs. She moved to sit up, but her body ached. Her fur was stiff with mud. In a cloudy blur of pain and weariness, she sank down again. The first of the stars began to appear bright and sharp against the clean sky. A catbird sang an evening song. The swollen creek had dwindled to a gurgling trickle. Still Celeste didn't wake from her dreamless sleep. And there's a picture of Celeste. 